Hey, Naughty Richie. I've been playing with this worn hub, and I don't. I guess I. I guess I complicate things too much. I don't know. But I came and watched some YouTube videos. Did my Colorado K5 ad advice, which is always awesome. And it's on. And man, I don't know. It took me like 15 minutes. <laughs> I guess I was trying to make it a hard job. Um. Yeah, man. You know spins, a little gritty in there, but, and then lock it, boom, and it's locked, man, you know, freewheeling, freewheeling, um, I guess I was thinking somehow this big spring right here was supposed to go in there, it doesn't go in there, so I was trying to do that, um, I didn't think this tiny little, I don't know if it'll focus on that, this tiny little thing, I didn't think that would make a difference. Um, it does. Otherwise, you can't put that little C-clip, this little dealie. You can't put this little dealie. You gotta take this, this, these two pieces right here are in front of those, those two locking nuts in the hub. And I didn't think that little bitty amount of space was anything, so I left it on there. Well, that little bitty amount of space is something when you're talking about, because now you have to put that little this little C clip on the front of the hub, and then you put that little chrome cap on top. But we got it all done, man. And uh, like always, you know, I I take it apart. And I want to get it done, so I don't necessarily line things up perfectly the way they came off. La, 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 la. And, uh, I changed the bearings in this one. And, uh, I don't even think I really needed to, man. I think I just needed to tighten up those two, those two, um, um, spindle nuts. Um, either way, there's new bearings in there now, greased up and everything, boom, boom, bam. I have to wait for that one little crazy washer with the holes in it to put this back, to put this side back on. But, I got it, man. Woohoo! Got it. Alright. Thanks, guys. Later.